Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 18. I put in a couple of lanterns last night, one there and one over here, just to light up that area down below a bit more. And as we progress, we can always add more lanterns. I also put in this staircase right here. I left a section out though. I mentioned this in the last episode that I don't think zombies can make this jump. Even though it is just one block across, it's also one block higher. So I don't think they can make it, but they might be able to. So if they can, we can just pull up these wooden frames and they shouldn't be able to make this jump right here. So just an experiment I'm playing around with. We'll see how it works tonight. Let me put these wooden frames back up. If I had to make a prediction, I would say this. I don't think the zombies are all going to pile up right here. I don't think they're going to line up to try and make this jump, but some of them will. I think we'll see a small group that will consistently try to make this jump and we can just focus our firepower on them and other zombies too if they're causing a problem so we'll see uh, if they can make that jump easily and they are lining up then uh, we can abuse them with the assault rifle and junkie while they're doing that and then quickly pull up those wooden frames and then you know rinse and repeat so uh, I don't know. We're just going to see how that goes tonight. But anyway, I got a bunch more blocks here that I want to upgrade. I got some concrete and cobblestone to spend. And then we're going to hit the road, uh, go see the traders, uh, squeeze in some looting and some mining as well. Then we'll get back here and have a fight. Well, let's see what we got. What a surprise. I'll take the rock busters, though. No sugar butt. What are you going to do? Let's go see uh, Trader Wrecked first, since he's right here in town. And then we're going to go see Trader Joel. And as always, after we're done dealing with Trader Joel, if we have enough coin to warrant a trip out to see Jen, then that's what we'll do. Otherwise, we'll just do some looting in Joel's town and... Uh, Get, do some mining on the way back home and that'll be it you know what there's a challenge right here called the man eater let's go do that real quick that'll get us a little bit more xp and a little bit more coin as well uh, the man eater i'm not even gonna look but i'm assuming that it's uh zombie dogs all right here we are now if i had my ak i would just activate it but since i only got this magnum with six shots in it i'm gonna build uh at least a couple of blocks high. Let's just do two. We'll upgrade them. We'll put one frame down so we can get up there. And that'll be plenty. Because, you know, five or six dogs running at us. Uh, that's not good. Let's get up here. Pick that up. Oh, it's not dogs. It's men. <laughs> it's, that's what it is, the man-eater. All right, fellas, well, you can't eat this man, unfortunately, but what you can have is this flaming piece of fucking steel. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know there'd be so many of you. Now I know what the only girl at the party feels like. That's what you get, you bunch of animals. All right, I guess we didn't need this setup. Could have just looked at the challenge to see that it wasn't zombie dogs, but where's the fun in that? No sugar butt. Man, nobody in this town likes eating ass, apparently. What up, Wrecked? 1,000 XP, 350 coin. Let me see your inventory. Shotgun shells. I'll take them, or I won't. Oh, shit. I forgot all the things that I have to sell in the bike. All right, now, how much were these shotgun shells? Ah, fuck it, let's just sell them everything. Who cares? It's not like Joel's gonna have sugar butts anyway. All right, now, let's get to buying. Gunpowder, shotgun shells, 9mm, buckshot. You know, I never thought 
playing a zombie survival game that I would be so concerned with something called Sugar Butt. Art of Mining Volume 1, Lucky Strike. That adds a small chance to uh, find rare gems while mining, like uh, gold, silver, or diamonds. Ooh, better bartering with the 44 Magnum. I'm taking that no as well. As a matter of fact, let's read that done. now before we do any more dealings with him since we have our Magnum out. All right. Uh, secret stash. What else? Nothing? I guess I'll take this 9mm, and uh, I know I probably should be buying these rocket frags for when we finally get our hands on a rocket launcher, but I just haven't been doing that. Once uh, once we do get our hands on a rocket launcher, then I'll start buying them. All right, let's go to Joel's little pit stop. Let's check the vending machine first. No, nope, doesn't work. All right, there's some iron right there, but we got all day to do some mining. I just want to break in through the back here, grab the main stash off of the roof, and then we'll be gone. A little bit of ammo and some mods. Ah, oh, there we go. Silver. Machete parts. I just wanted to grab the main stash here real quick. Get a few more things to sell to Joel. Get out of the way. Nope. Man, I tell you, it seems like there's always that one thing in this game that you can't find. And every time you play, it's something different. Yeah, what up, Joel? Assistance. It's not like Sugar Butts is a big deal. You know? Uh, all it does is give us a little bit better bartering. And because this series is a bit rushed with the Horde every three days, it would be nice to have. Because every extra coin we can make, the better. 9mm, I'll take it. Cement mixer, we can craft. Another cement mixer, and we will soon. A 4x4 chassis schematic. That's not what we're looking for, though. Uh, we're looking for the gyrocopter. All right. Safe I guess that's it. But we have enough coin to warrant a trip to Jen's, so that's what we'll do. We'll cruise out there, go see Jen. Actually, maybe we'll do some looting in her town first, just to gather up some more things to sell her. Where are you at, chicken? Trying to hide behind the car? Did it run off? Ah, nope. It's got its mouth on the tailpipe. Trying to take the easy way out. Well, not in my town, you don't. Well, we got a couple of iron ores right here, and that's what I'm looking to mine today. So let's just go ahead and do it now. Get it out of the way. We got the Rockbuster candy on us. Let's take it and go to work here. We need the iron not only to continue to load into the forge so we can continue to craft more steel, but we also need to craft more robotic turret ammo for tonight. This is a quick and easy raid. Now, there's not much loot here. I think there's like one crate, maybe two. But this place is loaded with cement, and uh, that's something we just always need more of. Here it is, the one and only crate. That's alright. I really came in here for the cement. Oh, and a sprained leg, apparently. Let's grab this and get out of here. Maybe we can find one more place to... Um, like smash and grab before we gotta go see Jen. Let's do that. It's only hour 15. Let's see if we can get a little bit more loot that we could possibly sell to our here. We'll do the daycare. Oh, who gave Kenny a job at a daycare? Someone made a mistake. Guess they don't do background checks here. Oh, fuck off, lady. You too, cheerleader. All right, I'll take that helmet. We'll sell it to Jen. Any extra coin we can get, the better. Too easy. 
Oh shit. All right, we should probably just head over to Jen's now. Got a bear den over there. Oh shit, look, paper mill. Sweet, been looking for this place. Let's get this marked on the map, and matter of fact, might as well scoop a little bit of paper while we're here. Because I was trying to craft some shotgun shells earlier, and we did not have much. I had like 30 sheets of this shit. Here, we'll just go paper mill. Bam. And let's grab a little bit, like I said. We don't gotta spend a bunch of time harvesting all this paper, but... At least a couple of reams, that'll be plenty to craft uh, ammo with the gunpowder that we have. Alright, that's plenty for now. Next time we're here in Jen's town, we'll gather the rest of that paper and finish looting the place. Oh, of course she has it. I'm not going to hold on to it either. Screw it. I'm going to eat it right now. We'll get a little bit of use out of it. Plus, Jen likes to watch me eat the butt. Right, Jen? Oh, gunpowder. I guess I'll take that. She doesn't have much. Shotgun shells. That's it. More shotgun shells in her stash. All right, then. For the business. Later, Jen. Stay what a waste there. of sugar butt. <laughs> I don't care. I honestly don't. Whatever. I'll check, you know, the girls' club vending machine from now on. Like, I'll always check for it, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it. And if we find it, we'll use it. Who gives a shit? Let's get home, get geared up, and hopefully not die tonight. Out of the way, lady. Here we go. Oh, they're coming in from the west side. Come on, lady. You gonna go for the steps? No? What's the matter? You can't make that jump? Oh, no. I thought she was gonna go for him. All right, well. If they're not attracted to the steps because they can't make that jump, it's not a big deal. Like I said, I just wanted to give it a try. Oh, shit. Fucking Kenny. Oh, man. Of course, Ken Kenny will try anything. He don't give a shit. Oh, damn, Big Mama made it. All right. Oh, cop. Grab these frames. Let's deal with this cop. And let's put him back. And it seems like maybe I was right. Only a portion of them are going for the steps. All right, now they're just hanging around the steps, beating on them. The majority of them seem to be underneath the base. Alright, well, Junkie's doing a good job up here. Much better having him up here than down below like last time. Oh, we got a cop down there. Let's get this fire working. Lay this cop out. Alright. Things are going pretty good. They're doing exactly what they basically did last time, which is piling up beneath us here. There's another cop dead. Alright. They took interest in the staircase for a moment, but not really anymore. Not a big deal. Uh, you know, we have a generator bank in inventory, which require engines. Now, we have three engines. One I want to use on the gyrocopter. One I want to make another mixer with. And the third one I was saving in case we found the auger schematic. So, maybe in the next three days leading up to the next horde, we'll go out and try and get our hands on a few more engines which we can use in the generator bank we'll craft some electric fence posts and we'll run the electric fence beneath the base and we'll still keep in the barbed wire fences because then they'll get stuck on the barbed wire fence uh, while they're getting electrocuted and what more can you ask for than that oh shit oh shit
Let's try standing at the top of the steps here. I don't see any birds. Oh, shit. Oh, blew her arm off. Here we go. Now they're trying the steps. I know they can make the jump. They're not as confident as I am, though. Seems like standing at the peak of those steps really is influencing their decision. Here comes a nurse. Oh, no, she fell. Now they're piling up down there. That's good. All right, well, let's do something stupid. Give them an easy way up here. We'll craft one more wooden frame. And we'll put that right there. Oh, yeah. Now they're coming. All right. Oh, shit. I couldn't pick up both frames. One was damaged. Oh, this has gone to shit. Why are my shots just going through these fucking zombies here? Come on, lady. Uh, I gotta repair this first. I could da I could just destroy it, but I'd rather repair it and pick it up. All right, that one's gone. Well, let's try this again, but let's be a little bit more prepared this time. We'll get junky. Uh, let's repair them. We'll repair them and reload them. We'll make sure we're nice and reloaded, and uh, we'll try that again. Oh, fucking spider monkey. It's like they weren't jumping up here when the staircase wasn't intact. The moment the rest of the zombies have a way up here, then the spider zombies want to jump up here. There we go. Yeah, fall down. Oh, look at this guy. Fucking Slick Rick over here. All right, let's switch things up a little bit. We'll put uh, the sledge turret down right here. We gotta pick up Junkie so it activates, and let's give them a way up. Let's go, you fucks. Bam! Fuck you. Yes! <laughs> oh, there goes a the spider monkey. Oh, see what I mean, man? Once the rest of the zombies have a way up, these motherfuckers are relentless. Holy shit. Oh, no. This is, uh... Getting out of control. Oh, it's out of control. Oh, shit. We got a bail. Not good. Not good. The sledge turret is not doing its job. Holy shit. We gotta go. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Let's go this way. Close this door. Shit. That was a bad fucking move. Oh, my God. All right. Let's use a mega crush so we can run. We can get the zombies down. All right. We could... We could... This is not a big deal. We could take care of this. Once we're down on the floor, the zombies will follow. So let's take a Mega Crush. And let's get down here. And we need to uh, pick up these frames. This way they don't have a way back up. And uh, once we're sure all the zombies are down here, then we'll go back up. All right. See? I got things under control. No big deal. Oh, shit. Get out of my damn way. All right, I think we're good now. Slight mishap. Let's not do that again. All right, let's take a painkiller to get rid of this concussion and let's eat some honey to get rid of this infection. And we're good. Oh, got a nice bounce right there. Oh, I forgot to mention, I crafted two drum magazines last night. I got one in the AK and one in Junkie. We found the recipe for the drum magazine in the last episode. And uh, that was one of the first things I did last night, was get two of those crafting in the workbench. And uh, they are certainly paying off right now. They're trying to break into our base right there, and of course they're beating on the blocks and not the iron bars, which I would like them to break. 
which I don't get. The iron bars have 7,000 hit points. Now, granted, the reinforced blocks have 5,000, but there's two of them. They have to break through both. So that's 10,000 total. I don't know. You figure these zombies out, because I sure as hell can't. All right, I lied. We are going to do this again. Let's lead him up this way. Come on, you fucks. Beautiful. Oh, shit. Got to repair this one. Pick it up. All right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, there go the steps. All right, I guess we can't do that anymore. So overall, what did we learn? We learned that zombies can certainly make that jump up the steps. One block across, one block high, they can make the jump. They don't really go for it automatically, though. You have to kind of be standing at the top of the steps, and then they were trying it. That's why I was just filling it in and giving them an easy way up. But uh, that's, that's a bit dangerous, doing it the way I was doing it. It could turn on you very quickly, like it did turn on us. Luckily, uh, you know, I was able to lead them back down off of the platform to get back up here without dying. Oh, well, they made it into the base. Oh shit, what are they doing? Why are they beating into my mine? Fucking crazy ass zombies. All right, you know what? Let's do something stupid again. There we go. Probably should have made sure I was reloaded. <laughs> I wasn't fully reloaded, but that's good enough. And they destroyed that frame on their own. Perfect. Let's do that again. Let's just keep doing it until we fail. <laughs> Ah, oh, they didn't break the frame this time. Bastards. Well, that's a fail, I guess. They're just piling up here. None of them are breaking the frame. Oh, we gotta go. I hear dogs and shit. Let's get out this door. Look, this bridge has been broken. And they're not coming this way. Where are they going? Out the other door? Yeah. Yeah. Over this way. Come here, you fucks. Oh, look at this. This is like, uh, this could be the perfect little maneuver here. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. I meant to get back across that bridge. All right, you know what? While we're down here, might as well lead them out of, uh, our base. And then we'll get back up there. But that was a, that could have been a little, uh, maneuver right there. If we would have got back over that bridge and just had them running back and forth. Matter of fact, uh, might try that again. Oh, shit. Oh, that would have been a bad move. Almost cornered myself in that little room. Fuck off, dog. Oh, shit, okay. The frame is still in place there. And now, let him run at us. All right, take him out. Then get across this bridge. And they'll run away. And we do that again. You gotta be smarter than the zombies. Oh shit, that was a dog. Oh, well, it's officially morning. Is this the only dog left? Nope. Just heard another one. Right there. I see it. Oh, it's trying to leave. You can't leave. Nobody leaves until this is over. And by over, I mean everyone's dead but me. No oh, fuck. All right, is that it? Nope. One more. Hopefully one more. 
think that's it. Let's use a bandage, get rid of this abrasion. Let's eat some eye candy. Grab these loot bags. Oh, that's a nice way to start right there. Level 2 junkie. Beautiful. Some coin right there. All right. Look at this. Already we're getting some good loot. Level 5 wrench. I picked up a level 1 ratchet earlier, but I scrapped it for the steel tool parts. Level 1 ratchet just ain't cutting it for me. Even though it's a level 1, it will still take things apart quicker than the level 5 wrench. But, I don't know, it's a level 1, you know? Fuck that. Besides, now that we found a level 1, I'm sure we'll find a better one tomorrow. Look at this. I don't know why they decided to beat down into the mine. It's not like that's a viable way to get to me. I'll repair it later. Maybe they just felt like fucking my shit up. Oh, level 3 tactical rifle. I'll check that against the stats of our level 4 AK. It's probably not any better. So, we're probably better off just selling it. Alright, uh, oh, got a couple more up there. Let's go grab them. Military vest. And a hammer. Let's grab Junkie. And that's gonna be it. I had fun. That was a good night. Successful night. The only problems we had were self-inflicted. Me being stupid and letting the zombies up to where we are, but... You know, I like to have fun. But the base is looking good. We only got a little bit of repairs to do. Nothing major. Uh, the one major thing I would like to try and get done before the next horde is uh, I want to build out the roof more. Or the bars. You know, the bar roof on the right side and the left side of our platform so we're more protected from birds. We got lucky tonight. No birds showed up, but you never know. It's a roll of the dice with those fucking things. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.